This video is brought to you by Shortform. Okay, so one question I get asked a lot is how should I learn AWS Cloud as a beginner? With so many video courses, ebooks, and boot camps out there, where do I even start? Honestly, it all depends on your learning style. I found that for me, I learn best through video courses and hands-on labs, but you might be someone who prefers reading through books and documentation. If so, this video is for you because I'm going to be sharing some of the best books I'd recommend for learning AWS Cloud. These books are perfect for absolute beginners and if you'd like a discount to any of them, feel free to use the special links in the description below to get anywhere from 10% to 45% off. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first book I'd start off with is called AWS Fundamentals. This is a book that teaches you how to use AWS in the real world, which means it doesn't just cover what's required to pass an AWS certification exam. Instead, you'll learn all the basics of AWS services and how you can get started with building real life solutions in the cloud. I have it here on my iPad alongside all the other books so that whenever I have some free time, I can open it up and start reading. What I love about this AWS Fundamentals book is that it really goes against what a traditional book would do, which is usually just providing you with pages and pages of plain text. This book actually incorporates many diagrams and screenshots so that you can understand new concepts more easily. I mean, how cool is this? A complete one-page summary of everything you need to know about DynamoDB. I really wish I had this book back then when I was trying to wrap my head around all the AWS core services because it would have saved me so much time. According to the authors, this book is for everyone who wants to learn about the fundamentals of AWS. Programming experience is not required and the book will cover the core building blocks of AWS and infrastructure as code. And according to them, this AWS Fundamentals book is not for people who are already proficient with AWS or those who want to learn Azure or GCP, which makes sense because it's a book designed for beginners who are interested in learning AWS Cloud. So if you're interested in getting your own copy of the book, I'll leave a link in the description below for 20% off. The next book I'd recommend is AWS for Non-Engineers, and it's exactly what the title says, a book for non-engineers looking to learn AWS. Many people I talk to still think you need a computer science degree to learn AWS Cloud, but this has time and time again proven to be untrue. Having a technical degree is definitely helpful when learning cloud computing, but it's not really a prerequisite. So if you're not from a technical background and you want to learn AWS, you can use this book as a guide to help you get started. I purchased a copy for myself and found the book really easy to follow along. It has seven chapters and provides an absolute beginner's guide to AWS. The book covers the core AWS services and explains billing and pricing, as well as the AWS security and compliance concepts. And then in the last chapter, there's even tips to help you pass your AWS certification exam. If you're interested in getting your own copy of the book, I'll leave a link in the description below for 45% off. The third resource I'd recommend is a collection of ebooks created by Tutorials Dojo. These books are specifically designed to help you pass AWS certification exams and are a great choice if your goal is to get AWS certified. There's currently seven AWS certification books available and you can see that the books are relatively affordable as well. I actually bought the AWS Solutions Arctic professional book back in 2021 and I remember it was pretty useful in helping me understand the more complex concepts in the AWS certification exam. But since many of you watching this video are probably new to AWS, let's have a look at their AWS Cloud Practitioner Study Guide instead. From the table of contents, you can see that the book provides an overview of the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam and what to expect. After that, it covers all the important concepts and services that may be needed for the exam. Everything is presented really clearly and the book is packed with diagrams and detailed explanations. So overall, I think it's a great resource if you have an exam coming up and want a set of notes next to you that you can refer to. And if you'd like 10% off any of Tutorials Dojo's eBooks, I'll leave a link in the description below for a discount. Moving on to the next book, this is actually one I created myself. Well, it's more like a mini guide rather than an actual book, and it's called 100 Best ChatGPT Prompts to Help You Learn AWS and Get Hired. I recently made a video where I talked about how to learn AWS Cloud fast using ChatGPT, where I demonstrated some cool ways to use ChatGPT as a learning tool. However, this book goes into a lot more detail and provides 100 prompts you can copy and paste into ChatGPT to really accelerate your journey of learning AWS. The prompts are designed to help you learn AWS services and solutions in a practical way so that you don't find yourself memorizing facts and figures. Here's an example of a prompt from the book. Teach me how to build an AWS architecture for a simple web application that uses Amazon EC2, Amazon RDS, and Amazon S3. ChatGPT would then provide you with the exact steps you'll need to take to build the diagram. AI is getting really powerful, but without the right prompts, you might not be able to use it to its fullest potential. And so if you're interested in checking out the book, I'll leave a link in the description below for 10% off. 
The next resource on the list is AWS White Papers. These are completely free, but unfortunately many people I talk to don't know about them. AWS White Papers are documents that provide detailed information around topics related to AWS. They're designed to help people understand the best practices and design patterns for AWS services and are a great way to dive into specific AWS topics. You can see that there's over 270 AWS White Papers available. Anything from an overview of AWS services to the AWS War Architected Framework. Let's take a look at this white paper called Introduction to DevOps on AWS. They have the option to download the white papers as a PDF, so I imported it to my iPad. The white paper provides a pretty comprehensive overview on topics like CICD, infrastructure as code, monitoring, communication, and security. For example, in the CICD section, they talk about tools like AWS Code Deploy, Code Build, and Code Artifact. What I think is cool about AWS white papers is that first of all, it's created by AWS themselves so that you'll know the information will be reliable. And second, they provide a lot of links to other resources and websites for you to refer to, which means that if you ever decide to learn more about a specific topic that's mentioned, you can just visit the links they provide. To check out these white papers, you can head to the link in the description below or just Google AWS white papers. As I've mentioned, all the white papers are completely free. So I'd recommend using them as a guide to deepen your knowledge of AWS. Now, one of the biggest challenges I've Based when learning AWS Cloud was keeping up the motivation to study consistently. I don't know about you, but in the first few days of learning something new, I will be really excited and put in a lot of effort. However, as time goes on, I will lose that initial motivation and struggle to stay on track. And so what I realized is that building technical skills is only one part of the equation. Developing the right mindset and soft skills is just as important. This means building up the right habits, improve your communication skills, and understanding how to think logically. And that's where Shortform comes in. Shortform is the best way to learn new ideas from nonfiction books. They provide amazing guides and summaries to some of the most popular books out there, like Atomic Habits and How to Win Friends and Influence People. I use Shortform mainly to look at books focused on tech, business, and productivity. And very recently decided to check out this book called The Power of Habit. It talks about how new habits are formed and how to break your unhealthy habits to form better ones. You can see that Shortform provides a one-page summary to every book, followed by very detailed guides that come with interactive exercises. And if I ever want to take a break from reading from my screen, I can just tune into the audio version. One interesting feature they have is that if you're a Shortform subscriber, you get to vote on what future books you'd like to see. They publish book guides and articles every week, so there's always something new to learn. If you're interested in trying out Shortform, you can head to shortform.com for slash Lucy to get a five day free trial. And if you decide to purchase an annual subscription, Shortform will then give you 25% off. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below what's your favorite way to learn new technical concepts. All right, bye for now.